Thanks, Ken. Brandy, congratulations, Employee of the Month. If it weren't for the people working on the mountain, we would not have a good day at all. Those guys take care of us both on Vale and Beaver Creek Mountain. They make sure we're having a great day. They make sure we don't get lost. They make sure we know where all the groomed runs are. So give them a big thanks. If you see Brandy, give her a big hug. I don't know if you're supposed to, but do it anyways. Looking at what's going on with the weather, we're looking at low pressure. This is what's giving us all the cloudiness we're seeing. There's a northwest flow that's bringing in the clouds that we're seeing. We're going to continue to see some low-lying clouds throughout the morning, mixed with a few few snow flurries. Not much accumulation is expected from this system. We could see under four inches of snow through Friday. It's Saturday when really we're going to see this system start to shift to the south and that's what could bring us quite a bit of accumulation of snow. We're looking at how much. We don't know exactly how much at the moment, but it will be significant. But until then, a few snow flurries, lots of this moisture still affecting parts of Colorado, but a lot of moisture is also affecting parts of the south that continues up through the northeast as well. So it could have a few delays. If you're heading back to Miami or maybe you're heading back to New York, just check ahead before you go out there. Overall, though, temperatures are going to stay fairly mild today. They're going to be in the 30s for us throughout the valley. We'll see a high of 43 in Eagle. The rest of the valley is going to see highs in the 30s with partly cloudy conditions. And again, about a 20% chance for precipitation. If you're just waking up, look at that good news on the bottom of the screen. Yep, Blue Sky Basin's opening up on Saturday. They're also going to be opening up Riva tomorrow. You can actually go up there and get up on that lift and check out some Golden Peak runs. They have a few groomed today, but you'll have to take Midvale to get up there. Here's a look at our five-day forecast. Fairly partly cloudy con conditions on Thursday. Friday, we could see a little bit of snow, and then Sunday's when we'll see the bulk of this moisture. But we're going to take it back to you, Ken. I know that there's going to be DJ Psychonaut. He's playing at 11 o'clock as part of Ale Snow Days. Can you already feel the festive atmosphere? Uh, you can definitely feel the festive atmosphere down here, and also the, a lot of the employees are headed up, and I've talked to a few of them. They're like, is that true? Is China Bowl opening tomorrow? Yeah, it is. Blue skies opening up on Saturday? Yep, it is. So a lot of the employees are very excited about it. The Yellow Jackets have been hard at work, and uh, we just heard from Brandy. She was up there at the top of the mountain. She's uh, involved in guest services as well, and even she was uh, commenting on the news of the mountain opening and ex uh, opening up more and more terrain. Over 4,000 acres is going to be open on Vail Mountain as of Saturday. But right now, though, we are at the gondola. Uh, for all of the folks that might be staying over here at the Lion Square Lodge, if you see the lifts running and people getting on it, these are the employees. They're headed up there first thing. And uh, it's fun to talk to some of them as they go up. We've got chefs, we've got ski school guys, ski patrolmen, all of them. It looks like they were up there for the uh, employee recognition party. To all the employees of Vail Resorts, congratulations. They are doing a great job and doing very well with customer service this year. And again, some more employees headed up. But my advice to you as we wrap it up, it is cold out here today. It's chilly. Make sure you have the extra layer on if you're going out on the mountain. The distinctive taste of Bud Light can be described with just one word. Drinkability. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. Dolce Far Niente. Sweet doing nothing. Fractional ownership at the Vail Plaza Hotel and Club. Members determine the fixed weeks they wish to own. Choosing from 38 elegantly furnished residences. Guaranteed forever. Enjoy a full service spa and fitness center. Two exquisite restaurants with private lounge. And on mountain ski storage. Italian inspired sophistication. Dolce Far Niente. The Vail Plaza Hotel and Club. Double Diamond Ski Shop, the latest and greatest ski, snowboards, boots, poles, and bindings. Not sure what you want? No problem. We demo every boot and ski we sell. Double Diamond lets you try before you buy. Need condition-specific skis? Double Diamond carries both super fast and women's models. With over 15 years of in-shop experience, our staff offers the kind of service you can trust. Only 46 steps to the Lion's Head list. No ski shop is closer. Or more convenient. Double Diamond Ski Shop. It doesn't get any easier. Your anti-wrinkle cream working deep enough? This is Garnier Nutrition East Ultra Lift Deep Wrinkle. It plumps and fills. You see deeper wrinkles reduced to full dermatological grade. Younger looking skin? Count me in. Ultra Lift Deep Wrinkle. Gosh. Eagle County Humane Society, someone special is waiting for you. I'll let you know about the Rail Jam happening tonight. We have Michelle Hartel here from SOS Outreach. But before we get to the event, let's talk about your season already. 15th season? 
15th season on the Hill, and we've already had 500 kids from around the country come out to join us so far this season. That's amazing. I mean, we're only at December 10th, and mm -hmm. we've already had that many kids out there. I know you're going to be spread across the nation at 36 resorts yep. and servicing how many kids this year, all total? Close to 4,000. We'll have about uh, 3,800 kids on the Hill, 500 Eagle County kids this year. So. Okay, good. And I know you're doing some stuff with the Eagle County kids this weekend. Yep, we're starting our SOS University program this weekend in Eagle County and Summit Counties. Uh, that's a four-year program where kids get to experience peer mentorship, service components, and leadership workshops. And you know what, for those people that aren't familiar with SOS, basically started out as, you know, not only teaching kids how to snowboard, but also life lessons. Now it's expanded over to the skiers. You've also teamed up with Meet the Wilderness. Yep. You're doing things year-round with youth, and it's really paying off, especially after 15 years of doing this. You guys are seeing the benefits. We are. Uh, the kids and the parents that we work for are, are just real eager to have their kids experience, you know, the year-round programming to uh, push to get more kids outdoors has been very fulfilling. All right, now tonight we've got the Rail Jam, and you guys are going to benefit from this. So all the proceeds from the registrants, you guys are going to be able to help fund more programs next year, but let's talk about the event. Yep. So we're, we're very eager to be teaming up with Snow Days to put on the Snow Jam Rail Jam at the base of Golden Peak tonight. It's going to start at 4 o'clock, run until about 8, and we'll have a pro and an am component. Uh, so anyone's welcome to come out and compete on the amateur end. You can register over there at the base of Golden Peak starting at 3. Yeah, I heard that the amateurs will go first, and they can vie for some great prizes, some yeah. great swag. And then the top amateurs actually get to compete with the pros. That's they pretty exciting. Do. So they'll be in the running for the $3,000 cash purse for the event with the pros. Okay, all right. Are you going to be out there? I will be out there registering folks, so come on out and support SOS and, and help us have a great time. And I hear there's a new rail that they were building this summer, and they're going to debut it tonight. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's it's in the shape of a Y, and you hit Whoa. it from, from okay. the bottom part. So. Okay. Yeah, come on out and check it out. It'll be a, a great time tonight. Okay, and then let's talk about your jacket. This is very exciting because, you know, throughout the 15 years, you guys have teamed up with so many different vendors, and you've got the sessions making your very own SOS jacket. That's pretty big to have a national manufacturer make something with your logo all over it. Yeah, so Fashion approached us last year and was uh, very excited to co-brand this jacket with us. It's for sale at uh, stores throughout the country, and we also have a bunch on hand at our Edwards office that we're selling for a fundraiser. Okay, and you know what? I mean, they're affordable price. They've got mm -hmm. all the bells and whistles, and it's neat looking, too. Yeah. I mean, it goes well with, you know, whatever kind of snow pants you want. You can put a crazy hat with it. I know you've got some nice SOS hats that would go well with we this. We do. I want to actually show you. I got one right in the pocket here. Okay. Makes a pretty nice set, and if you're looking for, you know, any last-minute Christmas gifts over the next few weeks, we have them for sale at our Edwards office in a, a variety of sizes, and all proceeds go to support our program. Mm -hmm. And are you, you have a big fundraiser going on as well. Tell us a little bit about how we can give back. I mean, you guys are always looking for funds, but you've got a lot of your, your team and your board of directors out there asking for a little bit of cash, and yep. it goes a long way. Mm -hmm. So this year we started a pledge campaign where we can have some of our volunteers, youth, parents, and any supporters in the community go out and fundraise for us. So it takes about five minutes for them to set up a pledge page online linked to our website, and they can go out and help, you know, support SOS, spread the word about what we're doing, and, and help us raise money to support the program. Okay, Michelle, thanks. A lot of information. If you want to learn more, SOSoutreach.org or 926 9292 is their phone number. We'll be back. What is love?